The World Health Organization says there are nine COVID-19 variants, and of those, four are what they're calling variants of concern, five variants of interest. And the newest variants are Lambda and Mu, but how do they stack up? Emma Jerome joins us live with what health officials are now saying about these new strains. Emma? Good morning, Ken, Emily. The WHO says the Lambda and Mu variants are of interest to them, but they're hardly on the radar of the CDC, who isn't even requiring that they be tracked here in America. Of variant cases right now, 99% of those cases are the Delta variant, which is driving infectivity. Dr. Scott Lindquist, Washington State's top epidemiologist, says just because the Delta variant is so much more infectious doesn't mean it's more deadly, but nothing else is competing against it. The evidence is really, really clear. We're at high rates of disease. We're at high rates of hospitalization, especially if you're unvaccinated. Linquist says if you're from ages 12 to 34, you are 30 times more likely to be hospitalized if you're unvaccinated. Death rates are seeing a mild increase, but they are not as high as they have been. New data released by the CDC says that we have just passed a new top of the epidemiological curve for rates of transmissibility in hospitalizations, but they do see this stabilizing right now and hope that in the upcoming weeks we see it decline. Reporting live in Portland this morning, Emma Jerome, Coin 6 News. All right, Emma, thanks. Well, international travel restrictions will ease for those who aren't